Hello, everybody. Welcome to the live stream tonight. Happy Wednesday to you all. Got some happy things to report to you tonight. I'm Ryan, the producer and currently video editor of Tales of Ahala, the Aftermath Chronicles. So for the past month or so, almost two months, we have been working on episodes one and two of season three, and I'm happy to say that tonight that they are practically finished. We're going to just go over uh, episode two. Episode one is done. It's already done, rendered and finalized. So it's ready. And we're just going to go through just the last little bits of season two before I am just rendering, rendering that and finalizing that as well. But first, so we know, ta-da. So I already have this announcement poster practically ready and I'll be posting this after this live stream tonight on my social media stuff and this basically says that Tales of Ahala episodes 1 and 2 in season 3 live stream premiere on Twitch will be next Wednesday September 8th at 9pm starting at 9pm on the Conductor Productions Twitch channel which you're on right now if you're watching this live and we're gonna have commentary with a special guest and then after the premiere is done then we're back to the grindstone and preparing and working on episode three so <laughs> but uh it's good to be at this moment you know every every episode premiere is going to be fun and it's good that we got to this beginning point so i'm happy you should be happy lots to do in these next few weeks anyway let's uh just get started for tonight now this is all of and here, let me turn that on. This is all of uh, episodes two, like video, audio, and all we need is to apply the music. So that's what I'm gonna go through for the next few minutes and just talk talk you guys through the music. Like most of it's already laid down here, and I'm just gonna tell you what my kind of my mindset is. So I. I use this piece of software, which is like a kind of a Sony Vegas uh, software for just my audios. Apparently, I do everything else, all the video and special effects via HitFilm. But I do use um, this cheap version of, of Sony Vegas. I didn't pay for it for my audio because it's just it's just easier to manage that way. And so I start with like the voiceovers and then the audio effects, you know, all the special special effects and movement effects and everything. And then I set up. A new project and just have a blank slate to where it's just everything I have rendered so far with the voiceovers and and all the other audio effects here and as, as well as the visual part here and then I lay down the music track now for these first two episodes they're a little bit different than what I usually lay down for music usually it's a little bit more in depth but because there is a, a lot of dialogue happening in these episodes, I don't need really music over the dialogue too much. The dialogue in itself is good. So I just leave, I just have enough musical interjections just to keep things a little lively. I take out some tracks and all these, all the music I use is royalty free and I take it from a, I, I've purchased it from a company called Triune Films. They have created their own unique orchestral soundtracks that you can legally use for anything it can be for paid unpaid doesn't matter and the stuff is good it's what i've used for all my, my seasons of tales of a hallet with the only exception is our violin intro here which was made by my wife she's the one who played her violin when we were just getting started on before even releasing season one, I'm just like, I need I need some original intro. I had my wife play her violin in the microphone for you know a good ten minutes or so. And this is what I took from. And it's funny how that what that came from this actually.
So this is about about six minutes worth, actually, of just my wife playing her violin, different different things, and you can hear the audio recording like a vehicle going on in the background a little bit. But anyway, I was able to pull from this the violin intro that you hear sometimes for the Tales of Halle. For that, so that that's that. Yep. And I'm not I'm no sound mixer aficionado or anything. I mean, I, I I'm still I still under understand things just the basic understanding uh, when it comes to audio stuff. But I've learned a lot. I've definitely learned a lot over the years. Besides that, it's all the stuff that I've purchased, and I, like I said, royalty free. It's all free, so it's it's great to use. And one thing that's great about these musical tracks that I purchased is that I can either have the whole song, which here, here's here's one piece. And so that is all the instruments together. But what's really cool is from this company, they did a recording with all the instruments together. And they also did a recording of all the instruments separately in their own separate audio files. So so yeah, like this one is um, the bass part of the orchestra. This one is the cellos part. So you can have like the cellos just on their own. So you can have like a unique single bit of music. And then here is the, I think this is uh, some type of percussion. Yeah. Yeah, some type of uh, drum percussion there. So like I said, so they've separated all the, and, and that is invaluable. It, it, it makes whatever money I paid for these things, which, you know, it was, it was a fair amount, but it was worth it just for the fact that all, I don't, I have not really seen that for royalty free music ever that every, like you have separate tracks. And, and so I'm able to come up with my own scores and mix my own scores, you know, with, with the, the, the separate uh, instrument tracks and just do what I can do. Like, like a good example is the season two uh, full trailer that I just, I mixed a whole bunch of stuff together and it just came out excellent. And so all I have to do for this is render it. Is we don't need everything that's been audio tracked recorded so far. So I'm, I'm muting that off. I'm also muting the video part, even though you know, I'm just rendering the audio part. Still, I, I mute the video part just so there's no complications. And then what I'll do now is go to render as, and then I will just put episode two instead of episode one, and boom, I'm done. And so we're going to hit save and then it'll automatically start rendering. So let's do that. And that should be a render. So let's take a look. There it is. So now with this, we're done with this. And let's go back to the hit film file. And we'll just drop that new music track in. And I'll do this after the live stream is after I'm done with the live stream here, but because it's going to take a little longer to render this. But this is just basically everything all rendered, so that helps a little bit. So as I said, I just got to work on view, review, tweak, and then we should be done. So I'm happy. I'm just glad. So like I said, next week we are going to be doing this. We're gonna start premiering season three and I'm so happy. Yes. For those of you who are watching this on my Tales or on the Tales of Ahala YouTube page, this is a edited down version of what is about, uh, about 20, 25 minutes or so of just the final adding, doing the final touches for episode two of Tales of Ahala season three. And if you want to see the full amount of it, either um, tap whatever video shows up on front of the screen here or in the link in the description below to where you can go to our T Conductor Productions YouTube page and watch the whole bunch of it there. 
But uh, for those of you who are watching on the live stream tonight, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys next week when we premiere this. Excuse me. And I don't want to burp. I don't want to burp. No, I'll see you guys next week when we premiere episodes one and two of season three, and it's going to be a fun time. So hold on to your horses. Tell your friends and family. We're, we're going to have a fun time with this. So with that, I'll see you guys next week. Later. Have a good night.